In a groundbreaking announcement that could redefine our place in the universe, NASA has reported the detection of the first extraterrestrial signals originating from the direction of Proxima b, the closest known exoplanet to Earth. Located just over four light years away within the habitable zone of its star, Proxima Centauri, this discovery has sparked worldwide excitement and curiosity. It raises the profound question, could this be the moment humanity realizes it is not alone in the cosmos? This historic discovery began with detailed observations made by NASA's powerful telescopes, which have been scanning distant stars and planets for signs of life. Proxima b has long been considered a prime candidate in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, due to its Earth-like qualities and close proximity to our solar system. The signal detected is unique and unlike anything astronomers have encountered. Before potentially marking a pivotal turning point in human history, the implications of this finding are significant. Firstly, it supports the long-held scientific theory that life might exist on other planets with conditions similar to Earth. Secondly, and perhaps even more intriguingly, it invites speculation about the nature of any civilizations that could exist there. Are they simple microorganisms, or could they be advanced beings capable of interstellar communication and travel? The signal from Proxima b is not mere random noise or a natural cosmic event. Its structured repetition strongly suggests an intelligent source. NASA scientists, alongside international teams, are now focused on decoding this message to understand its content and the intentions behind it. The global scientific community is abuzz with theories, ranging from the signal being a form of greeting or a guide to something completely beyond our imagination. News of this discovery has extended far, beyond scientific circles, igniting debates on social media, government discussions and dinner table conversations worldwide. People are gazing at the stars with renewed wonder, imagining beings who might be doing the same from a distant planet, questions about how similar or different their world might be from ours and what their society could be like in terms of technology and culture fill our collective imagination. This potential contact opens up vast possibilities that seem as limitless as the universe itself. Moreover, the discovery prompts numerous ethical and existential questions. How should humanity respond if these signals truly come from intelligent beings trying to communicate? What protocols should be established for interstellar diplomacy? Most importantly, how might this revelation alter our understanding of religion, life and our identity as human beings? While excitement builds, there is also cautious skepticism. Leading scientists at NASA and other space agencies are working diligently to confirm the authenticity of these signals, ensuring they are not false positives or misinterpretations. As we stand on the verge of what could be the most important discovery in human history, every next step must be handled with precision and responsibility. The world watches eagerly for more detailed analyses. The detection of these alien signals from Proxima b not only propels our scientific endeavors into a new era, but also unites humanity through shared curiosity and hope. We may finally be on the cusp of answering one of the oldest and most profound questions, are we alone in the universe? In April 2019, a radio signal was detected coming from outer space, specifically from the Proxima Centauri region, 437 light-years away. Although this distance may seem vast, Proxima Centauri is the closest star to the Sun, located about three times farther than the third brightest star visible in our night sky. The signal originates from a triple star system consisting of the binary pair Alpha Centauri A and B, along with Alpha Centauri C, also known as Proxima Centauri. Alpha Centauri A and B are relatively close stellar companions with similarities. To our Sun, Alpha Centauri A shines with a yellow light and is about 1.5 times brighter than the Sun, while Alpha Centauri B emits an orange glow and is roughly half as bright. Alpha Centauri A is slightly larger than the Sun, whereas Alpha Centauri B is smaller, placing our sun's size roughly in between them. The breakthrough discovery of the signal came from the Breakthrough Listen project, an initiative dedicated to searching for extraterrestrial communications. This project, funded with around $100 million, has utilized thousands of hours of observation 
with cutting-edge telescopes worldwide. The signal was detected by the Parkes Radio Telescope in New South Wales, Australia, while observing the Proxima, Centauri region. Initially almost lost within massive data sets, the scientists managed to isolate it like a needle in a haystack. For the signal to be considered significant, it needed to meet two criteria. First, it had to be confined to a narrow frequency range since natural cosmic phenomena do not produce such signals. Second, the frequency had to change in a way that matched the relative motion of the exoplanet and Earth. After analyzing nearly four million individual signals, filtering out irrelevant ones and cross-checking with terrestrial radio sources, researchers identified one unique signal with a narrow band technological signature. This signal only appeared when the telescope was aimed at Proxima Centauri and was observed over a 30-hour period. Further investigation revealed that the signal's likely origin is Proxima b, an exoplanet discovered in 2016 through the radial velocity method. This technique detects small changes in a star's position caused by the gravitational pull of orbiting planets. Sensitive spectrographs observe shifts in the star's light spectrum, which varies as planets orbit, confirming the presence of Proxima b. Proxima b resembles Earth in many ways, with a radius about 1.1 times and a mass about 1.3 times that of our planet, suggesting a rocky composition with similar density. However, there are notable differences. Proxima b orbits much closer to its star, only about 0.05 astronomical units, compared to Mercury's 0.39 astronomical units from the Sun. This proximity would normally make the planet extremely hot, but since Proxima Centauri is a dim red, dwarf star Proxima b receives only 60% of the energy Earth gets from the Sun. This places it within the star's habitable zone, where conditions might allow life to exist. Throughout the universe, countless planets remain undiscovered. To date, astronomers have identified nearly 5,000 exoplanets, with 65 new ones recently added to NASA's archive as of March 21st this year. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, the most advanced telescope ever built, is 100 times more powerful than its predecessors. With its capabilities, we hope to uncover the mysteries of these distant worlds. Past discoveries include a wide variety of planets, ranging from small rocky bodies to gas giants larger than Jupiter, and from extremely hot planets to potentially habitable ones. Among these, Kepler-1649c stands out as one of the most Earth-like exoplanets found so far, with conditions that could support life. So far, 55 Earth-like planets have been identified, although detailed study of many is still pending. Thanks to rapid advancements in technology and the James Webb Telescope, future discoveries may reveal even more about these distant planets. One of the JWST's main goals in its first year of scientific missions is to search for and analyze extraterrestrial worlds beyond our solar system, focusing on their formation and the possibility that they harbor water and biological life. The JWST's ability to study star and planet formation helps link mature exoplanets to their birth environments, connecting our own solar system's origins to those of other planetary systems. The telescope's infrared capabilities are especially important as infrared light can penetrate dense cosmic dust, detect the heat signatures of young stars and planets, and reveal the presence of essential chemicals like water and organic compounds. Mid-infrared light can pass through clouds much denser than those visible in other wavelengths, making it ideal for observing newborn stars still embedded in their natal clouds. Both young stars and giant planets begin as large swollen structures that contract over time, stars heating as they age while planets cool, but both emit more infrared light than visible light. This makes the JWST a powerful tool for discovering new stars and planets and understanding their formation processes. The telescope's MIRI instrument will also search for hot molecular gas near young stars, a potential indicator of rocky planets forming in habitable zones. Much of the JWST's early scientific work will thus focus on how planetary systems develop the molecules that might be crucial for life to emerge.